Hello guys and welcome to Prep E where we revolutionize how you prepare for IELTS. So today I am here to discuss a few tips for fluency, what you can do, how you can improve and how you can be more fluent when you're attempting your IELTS test. Okay, you guys need to understand one thing that it takes time. Okay, it takes a lot of time for you to learn a new language, to be fluent in that. You didn't even learn your native language, you didn't even start to speak that before a couple of years okay it takes a lot of time for you to adapt to a new language but there are certain tips there are certain tricks that we can use to somewhat make sure that our fluency is up to the mark of what is demanded out of IELTS now how do you know what is IELTS demanding out of you you get to know that through the IELTS speaking band descriptors so I've downloaded this document from the official IELTS website uh, just to give you guys a quick overview of the four parameters the number one is fluency and coherence as you can see the second one is lexical resource third is grammatical range and grammatical accuracy i would like to stress upon grammatical accuracy as well at times what we are concerned about is that okay i should not be making grammatical errors but we have to show a good grammatical range as well okay keep that in mind and then finally we have the fourth parameter as pronunciation now i want to tell you guys one thing pronunciation and accent are not the same I am from India. I am taking this class right now in India. I have an Indian accent. So there are some people from Mexico and other places who come and comment down on the videos below that, oh my God, what a bloody accent. How are you training for IELTS? So my friend, uh, I have managed to get more than eight bands in speaking every time I have taken the test. So pronunciation is the parameter, not accent. Okay, there's a small difference between that. So to all the Punjabi students as well, taking the, taking the IELTS test, you guys don't have to stress about faking your accent okay at times we try to do this that yeah so i'm doing good you don't have to do that man come on jada apna tc accent hai udhanal bolo and it, you will get a good score for sure okay because what matters is pronunciation i will repeat myself cool so anyway limiting myself uh to the discussion of this class that is fluency right fluency so let us quickly have a look that what is ielts demanding out of you for seven bands in fluency and coherence for eight and in for, for nine okay and then the, uh, in three tips just three tips on how you can improve your fluency to stand by these parameters so let us start with seven speaks at length very important this is the very first thing on which i train my students uh, in one-on-one -on -one classes that we have that you have to speak at length okay if i ask you a question what is your hometown you just don't tell me amritsar you have to elaborate it on elaborate it a little bit okay so for example what is your hometown i belong to amritsar it is known as the holy city there are many beautiful things to see in the city okay there are many beautiful things to see at in that city so you have to elaborate it speak at least two speak at least three sentences in your part one answers all right so i will be telling you a few strategies in a bit but before that let's discuss so speaks at length without noticeable loss or effort of coherence okay what is coherence coherence is logical sequencing of ideas okay if i asked you where do you come from what is your hometown you won't be speaking that there are many places to see in my hometown and my hometown is amritsar that is bad coherence what is the question that where do you come from first answer that then elaborate on it okay some students do that and particularly when you're anxious when you're nervous when you're sitting in front of that gori madam taking your test so you know you 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 tend to get nervous so that's totally fine you have to understand that till the time you are being logical you are answering just the way you do it in your native language it is going to be good may demonstrate language related hesitation at times okay or some repetition and self-correction even for a seven band score in fluency and coherence they are allowing you to have some language related hesitation that's totally fine okay now some students some students come up to me and ask sir i do uh uh you know i do these a lot that's fine that's totally fine they're allowing you to do that in a seven band fluency and coherence it's, it's very difficult to reach here okay and they're still allowing you to do that if you wouldn't have seen this band descriptors table you won't ever know so you don't have to waste your effort on doing something that is just a sub part of a big parameter okay try to understand that and then finally uses a range of connectives and discourse markers 
so what are connectors everyone knows that moreover therefore however all of these words are connecting words these connect your sentences and your words now what are discourse markers discourse markers are those instruments in the english language that tell the listener or the reader that what is about to come next for example for example is a discourse marker okay for example is a discourse marker when i spoke for example now your your brain knows right that okay now an example has to come so these words these phrases that tell the listener that what is going to happen next is a discourse marker so when the trainers suggest you to use examples right they want you to use them for two reasons one so that you increase the length of your answer two you use this course markers okay clearly mentioned in the ielts man descriptor table i have not made it up now what is expected out of you for eight bands that you have to speak fluently with only occasional repetition or self correction even in case of eight bands if you are hesitating a little bit that's totally fine and develops ideas coherently and appropriately cool very important you have to make sure that the ideas that you are presenting should be coming out logically should be sequenced logically very very important the only and only way to do this is to practice a lot and to look at a lot of samples so speak fluently and now let's look at what is expected out of you for nine bands you should speak fluently with rare repetition or self correction now they have come to rare but even then one two times is allowed don't lose out on your confidence any hesitation is content related now i want to introduce this particular thing okay content related there are two types of hesitations that we encounter when we are speaking one is content related two is language related content related hesitation happens when we are taking our viva exam you remember when we were in our engineering days and the uh, teacher used to ask us a question now we do we didn't have that answer because we didn't have the content to speak okay but when you are speaking in your day to day language and then you struggle uh, kya bolna hai kya bolna hai right that is language related hesitation when you when you don't know what word to speak next what should we do next you know what what happens many students have only one thing in their mind when they are attempting their speaking that i should use good vocabulary words they are trying to fit in words plethora right mesmerizing they are just trying to fit these words here and there while doing that your brain is not focusing on developing your ideas appropriately you are focusing more on speaking words and due to which you are causing a lot of language related hesitation which is not allowed they are allowing you to have content related hesitation not language related hesitation try to understand that and then finally these both these are pretty much the same so develops topics fully that simply means that you have to answer elaborately okay that's the uh, overall thing that you have to take care of cool so moving on to the next slide and when i will be when i will start discussing that what are those three tips that can help you being more fluent so let's start one by one so the next slide is here tip number 1 have a structure in place okay what does this mean so what happens is that when we are speaking generally we know what to speak but we don't know how to put it in words right so what is the solution for that you should be having a structure in place that okay these type of questions i have to address like this now your brain will automatically know that okay out of my structure i have answered this next i have to answer this for an example uh, i know that i must have confused you with this but for an example the ielts speaking part 3 questions in which you have to give an elaborate answer a very simple structure that i teach my students is p e wait p e e what does that mean p e e it is also uh like quite a well known structure if i tell you but how can you use that in your speaking part 3 point explain example cool so whenever you are asked any part 3 question any part 3 question pick it up and post it in the comment box i can put it in this framework p e e okay so point explanation example now how do you uh, apply this let's have a look let's take an example so let's say that you get a question what do you believe uh, whether the country should go in another lockdown 
okay let's say that this is the question what do you believe that the country should go in another lockdown i certainly believe that we need another lockdown to control the rise of covid 19 cases that is happening what have i done i have given my point okay i have given my point now i will explain my point i will go elaborate right the indian society is not that mature and they don't understand the consequences of what can happen if the covid 19 is not controlled done now give an example for example if we look at the epicenters like delhi there are no hospital beds available already and the people are about to lose their life point explain example wasn't this a good part three answer tell me wasn't this a good elaborate part three answer a natural answer this is how i spoke in my speaking and i have an eight band score in my very first attempt okay this is exactly the framework that i followed point explain example now when you have a structure in place you will not be struggling to know that you know you will not be struggling that what to speak next what to speak next you will automatically get to know that okay my point ho gaya. now it's my it's the time to speak the explanation then it's the time to speak the example okay moreover it will ensure coherence for you as well so as you very well know that there are two parameters fluency and coherence they go hand in hand do this it will be good to go all right so moving on to the next slide let's erase this moving on to the next slide the second tip in hand is that don't stress about vocabulary oh my god i i am not kidding but you guys spend so much time remembering words you guys spend so much time building up your vocabulary honestly look at me in the eye and tell me one thing if you have taken the ielts speaking test the last time when you went there could you use the words that you remembered could you use two words or three words that you remembered and you were you were thinking that okay i will be able to use it right don't worry about it they are not asking for any good vocabulary words or shakespearean language for you from you okay and there are some videos on youtube use these five words and get eight bands in ielts speaking smash that person okay there's nothing like that why i am not saying that let's have a look at the band descriptors again lexical resource is just one parameter okay your speaking score will be a average of the four scores that you will be getting on these four parameters cool so you have to understand that remembering words is not going to change things magically for you in any case you will not be able to use them once you go there so instead of hunting for words let me give you a very fine strategy through which you will not hamper your fluency at the same time you will be able to express a very good lexical resource while taking the test instead of hunting for words paraphrase the question well okay i ask you a question where do you come from you start answering like i come from no don't copy paste words from the question okay rather than that paraphrase that question well where do you come from i belong to chandigarh all right where do you come from rather than saying i come from chandigarh i belong to chandigarh same meaning different words i have just paraphrased the question it is a very easy exercise what you need to do here is that guys i don't need to provide you with speaking questions right there are enough pdf circulating on the web and i must say that that the person who creates those pdf has worked hard i really i really appreciate that lady so just pick up the questions from there and try to paraphrase them and put them in your own words okay whatever the question is rather than copying and pasting words paraphrase it that's what i uh, basically mean by when i'm trying to explain this let's take another example so a question is that do you live in a house or in a flat how you start answering is i live in a house all right or i live in a flat yet again you are copying words from the question don't do that do you live in a house or in a flat currently i am residing in a flat but my ambition is to buy a big house and i really wish that i would be able to achieve that one day cool this was not a good answer though okay moving on to the final tip for the day i know that um, so mr sukhvinder is recording this video so i told him it would be a 10 minutes video i think it is above 20 minutes so let us quickly uh, discuss the third tip which is don't rush to answer okay as soon as you get the question you have this urge ki main bol padu that i should just speak right why 
do you have a flight to catch you have paid 14000 rupees or 400 dollars if you are in canada to take that test right so sit there you know paise mein sulo yaar apne okay so when you get the question that where do you come from i come from delhi why hold on take a break of 2 seconds frame the answer in your mind then speak what will this do end of the day you will start speaking all of a sudden after speaking three words you will be or after speaking one sentence you would be like ab main kya bolu what should i speak next next rather than that let's keep it simple let's take a break of one and a half seconds two seconds it is more than enough your brain is the fastest computer in the world right it can process information beyond anything possible smarter than this bloody computer tv or whatever it is okay thank before recording of this class so you have to just understand give your brain 2 seconds it will frame a brilliant answer okay practice this i have seen this with you know whatever i am telling you right now is after training more than 500 students in one on one coaching i train them i ask them questions they answer back i do an experiment on them that okay do a thing now the answers that you give you have to wait for 2 seconds before answering so when i give the question they wait for 2 seconds the answer is fantabulous okay the answer is fantastic it really changes how they speak it makes it more coherent there is no hesitation lovely answers okay so this is it guys keep these three tips in mind try to practice uh, with these three tips trust me you will see magical differences in your fluency you will be more confident beyond this i would like to give you one more tip so to improve your overall fluency to improve your overall spoken english skills another thing that you should do is to watch and read a lot of english movies and books respectively okay you should spend at least 2 hours every day for the 15 days before you take the english test before you take your uh, ielts test watching good movies okay watch movies for 15 days that would be that would be phenomenal trust me the results would be great also i want to tell you uh, guys about our one on one courses so we offer this a uh, privilege to you guys that you guys can learn from an experienced ielts trainer with an overall score of 8 bands at the time of your choice for example if you say that i am available at 7 am eastern time totally fine take the classes at 7 am eastern time it will be only you and a trainer in the class undivided attention we focus on practice just the way i am telling you right now i will be asking you a lot of questions you will be answering them i will be correcting them they will get better 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 and gradually you will reach your desired seven band score in writing or speaking so this is it this is our number plus 9198771428 so you can whatsapp on it right now we are in india so you can whatsapp on it or you can call on it and i wish you all the best thank you very much